Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is Neurophone plus Neurophone Gaming Microphone. This is an unboxing video where I'll be giving you an overview and a review of Neurophone's headphones with the new Neurophone Gaming Microphone adapter. Now this is an adapter that you can purchase separately that transforms these headphones into a gaming headset. There are a number of problems with this, but this is an unboxing video where I want to talk to you about the highlights of this headset or these headphones what they're like to use and the overall experience of transforming some personalized audio from a fantastic set of headphones into a gaming microphone that allows you to plug into a variety of different devices to then get your game on now if you don't know already neurophone is essentially a very interesting device that includes both over-ear and in-ear technology, as well as personalized sound and the ability to customize the audio with active noise cancellation as a added facet to it, which is not something you see in gaming headsets usually, so this is worthwhile for that point alone. Here you can see the two packages together. As I said, you can purchase them separately, or you can buy them as a package. It is an expensive ask though. If you want to buy Neurophone and the gaming microphone together as one bit, that's £369 or around $399, which makes it one of the most expensive options compared to other gaming headsets that I've tried and tested out. However, it is interesting for a number of reasons that I'll talk to you about as I go through, not least of which is what I said about that personalized audio earlier on. It basically is a premium headset which offers Bluetooth and wired connectivity. You can get up to 20 hours of battery life out of it. And as I said, it also has active noise cancellation and passive noise cancellation as well. I'm using these headphones while talking to you now, but I'm not using the microphone from them. And that's something I'd usually do when reviewing a headset with a microphone to give you an idea of the quality of the recording capture capabilities of the mic that comes with the headset, but I can't do that. And that's one of the gripes and I'll talk to you about why later on. Now inside the box, you get a nice carrying case and the headphones themselves, as well as ear tips for adjusting the size and fit of it. As I said, this is an over ear and in ear design. So obviously finding the right ear tips and getting that fit is important. There are small, medium and large ones. You also have a USB charging cable which as you'll see has a proprietary plug on the end of it and that is one of the niggles for that because in order to plug into this headset you have to use that proprietary adapter there's no USB-C or micro USB charging capabilities and that's an expensive cable if you need to replace it as well I'll link to all the pages and the specifications in the description so you can check that out for yourself and see the accessories that you can purchase but basically it makes it quite proprietary in that way. Now, when I first got this out of the box, I found a little welcome note inside that tells you to download the app. As I said, these are generally seen as headphones and they're Bluetooth headphones. So you need an app for either your Android phone or your iOS device. You can download that and then you can put the headphones on and personalize the sound experience. And I'll show you how you do that a bit later on. When I first did that, I was blown away by the quality of the sound. Because of the design of these headphones, as you'll see from them, they have this very soft silicon inner on the inside, soft touch material. It's pretty interesting build quality that uses Japanese steel aluminium ear cups and this silicone inner. You'll notice the silicone on the headband as well. So initial impressions are that it's quite comfortable. You put it on and it's quite an unusual experience because you have these over ear cups that sit nicely on top of the ear, but then you have to get the in-ear pieces inside your ear canal, to get the best audio experience. And that is quite something. I don't generally like in-ears. So it's really gonna be a personal preference on whether you find this nice or not. And it is a bit odd to get used to to start with. I think even if you do use in-ears generally and don't go for over-ears, most people will use one or the other. Having both in one device is quite strange. Now the headset is adjustable. You can adjust the size of the headband by moving the ear cups up and down. You'll see there's a nice bit of flex and tilt on them too. So it's fairly easy to get them into a comfortable position. The app, as I said, will 
talk you through the setup process and getting that fit right. And it's really important that you get that fit right because the app then runs through a setup process where it basically sends sound into your ears and uses that to work out what your eardrums are doing and to adjust the sound accordingly to give a personalized audio experience. And the result of that is a really interesting sound that's fascinating. But the reason that I'm covering these, obviously, I mostly cover gaming stuff. So this is to talk about the gaming element of it. Now, this is an adapter. This is about £49 or $49, a very expensive bit of kit that works as an optional accessory that you don't need to purchase if you don't want to. And I'll talk a bit more about that later on. But basically, it allows you to plug in a 3.5 mil connection to a number of devices and then you can transform it to work with other things rather than just Bluetooth. Now, Neura claims that you can connect to Xbox, PC, Mac, PlayStation, Switch, and mobile devices with this. There is a 3.5 mil analog connection though, so it's obviously going to depend on your device. I couldn't plug this into my phone because I only have a USB-C connection on it. If you don't have a 3.5 mil connection, you obviously can't use it that way on your mobile or on any other device. This doesn't have a USB-C option. Now that is possible, again, with a number of other accessories. There are a number of accessories. You can buy a connection where it has that Neurophone proprietary connection at the top and your micro USB at the other end and USB-C at the other end, a lightning connection at the other end and just a straight analog 3.5 mil connection without the mic but these are all extra purchases you don't get them included in the box as standard and considering the expense of this headset that is a bit of an oddity for me another thing that i want to talk to you about that's important to know before you go into purchasing this if you're considering it is that this setup here as you can see is essentially a microphone that plugs into the headset with a volume and mic mute button control system on the cable itself and the proprietary plug that goes into the headset but on the other end you have a single 3.5 mil connection you can see a close-up of the proprietary connection here so you need to make sure you have neurophones cables purchased directly from them you won't be able to plug in your standard micro usb or usb c connections so you can't use that headset in ways like that the other issue is it's a 3.5 mil connection which means that you need a splitter jack a splitter cable if you don't have a mixed audio output on your pc or laptop so this is where i fell down and i'll talk to you a bit more about that in a second but you see the connection for it is fairly straightforward basically you just plug it in one end and the 3.5 mil on the other but what you'll note is there's also a connector which basically clicks into place and holds that microphone in place so it can't accidentally be pulled out you can then plug the headset in using the 3.5 mil jack into your pc and you can get your audio out that way or record with the microphone. The problem that I have is that I don't have a mixed audio output or input on my PC. I have a connection with two different connections on it, one for the microphone jack and one for the headset jack, and that's the same on motherboard and front panel connections, which makes it impossible to plug in to either use the microphone or to use the headset at the same time, unless you get a splitter cable, which basically takes those two and puts them into one connection or vice versa, a single into two connections. And so the issue here is that I cannot use the microphone to talk to you now while also listening to the audio. This is obviously a gripe, but it's gonna depend on your PC setup. But I think it's worth knowing that it's not easy to do that. So for this recording, I'm using the HyperX Quadcast S, which I'm going to be doing a separate video on if you're interested. So if you're planning on using these headphones as a gaming headphone, but don't care about the microphone that comes with it, it's not necessarily a problem because if you have the headphones already, you can use the proprietary cable to the USB-A cable, which you usually use for charging. You can plug that straight into your PC and then you can get the audio from your PC, but obviously without a mic connection. So that means you can still listen to your game sounds and music on the PC without the Bluetooth connection, but you don't have the bonus of the microphone. Obviously, you could also use a Bluetooth connection and get the sound that way. And the sound on this headset is undeniably good. It is a very good quality. It's a really interesting sound. I was blown away by it. 
and the sound quality of it. Obviously, there's no virtual surround sound, so if you're looking for that, you're looking in the wrong place, but it is a very personalized experience that's customized to your own ears. And it's really interesting to hear that in action when you walk through the setup processes. Impossible for me to do it just because I won't be able to show you what I can hear and what you'd be able to hear is the difference between them, but it basically talks you through the personalization of that sound and it shows you the difference between those two settings so that you can hear the sound difference and see what a difference it's making. Also with the active noise cancellation, it blocks out a lot of external noise and allows you to have a really immersive experience. And you can also deactivate and activate that from the ear cup. So on either side where you see the Neuro logo on the outside, those essentially work as buttons as well. So you can tap and double tap those and set up actions with them where you can disengage the active noise cancellation and enter a social mode, which allows you to then chat to people if they're talking to you without taking the earphones off, which is a godsend because getting them off and back on again into a comfortable position is sometimes a bit of a mess. Now, the other thing that I found with these is that unfortunately I can't wear them for a long period of time. I find that the tips that go into the ears are comfortable enough for a probably a couple of hours realistically and then after a while they start to nag at my ears and become uncomfortable. Also if you're doing something like I am now, we're talking, they're moving around in my ears and they're wiggling about and it becomes uncomfortable. This is a personal experience and a personal preference obviously. If you're used to inner ears you might find them not a problem at all and if you have never used this sort of mix of in-ear and over it, you'll probably find it incredible. And if you like the idea of that sort of personalized over the year experience, blocking out loads of external noise, then these are well worth looking at. They are, however, very expensive. And on the basis of the comfort alone, I cannot recommend them personally. Also, as I said, the fact that they don't work well with a microphone is a bit of a bother as well. Now I wanna show you the setup process within the app because this is an interesting setup. Basically you need the app, you download the app and then you get connected to the headphones. As I said, this is a Bluetooth headphone as standard. So you can connect to your phone via Bluetooth and then it does all the setup process for you. What that means is it automatically turns on as well when you put the headphones on, which is a really nice touch. So there are loads of really cool features about this. You put the headphones on, it automatically recognizes and it turns on. So when you take it off, it just turns off as well. So it saves a lot of battery life and it keeps running nicely. They're also brilliant to use in that way and they have a built-in microphone so that you can talk for calls and stuff, although I couldn't get that to work on PC is another thing but if you're on your phone and you're listening to music these are fantastic for that and they really are good for listening to music they deliver a really rich sound and a really immersive sound experience you see the process here is basically making sure that you've got the ear cups in the right place and that the tips are in your ears at the right angle as well when you initially put them on it's a bit of a fiddle trying to get that right uh, trying to push them into the right position and making sure that they're working properly. It then beams an interesting sound into your eardrum and it's basically them working out what sound you're hearing and adjusting accordingly and it then allows it to personalize the audio and deliver a richer sound according to the setup of your inner ear which is really cool and very nifty you might think it's gimmicky but you do actually get to witness the difference between that and the standard within the setup process it shows you in the app so it plays back some music which unfortunately i can't demonstrate to you it plays back some music without that personalized sound applied and then you can click a button to personalize and apply it and hear the difference between those. The other things that you can do within the app that when you're setting it up as well is you can turn on an immersion mode. An immersion mode is quite interesting too. Basically that silicone liner on the inside, it's used in a way that it vibrates in a way similar to the experience you'd get if you went to a nightclub or somewhere where there were some really loud speakers and you had that reverberation and the warble of the sound or really strong bass and such turn that immersion up and you feel that within your ears and it's not simply that the volume has been turned all the way up and it's incredibly loud it's just the way the ear cups are reacting and the way they're moving on your ears and it's a really cool experience not something you'd 
want necessarily all the time unless you're into like really hardcore strong music that's in your face and really smashing at your ears constantly but there's another quirk of the design also you can turn on and off the social mode within here which allows you to basically hear the world around you and you really will notice the difference i noticed that with both the neurophone and with neural loop the active noise cancellation and passive noise cancellation of it is fantastic you can be out walking outside with a load of wind and traffic going past and you won't hear any of it then you turn the noise cancellation off and you can suddenly notice the difference so it does a great job of immersing you in the audio and delivering a really good sound from that point of view and the battery life as i said is up to 20 hours of battery life i haven't really had to charge these very much at all when i've been using them because the intelligent sleep system basically sends it to sleep when you takes it off and brings it back to life when you put it back on again which means that it keeps going and going obviously you can plug it in with a 3.5 mil connection it's not getting any power from that 3.5 mil but it is still working nicely and lasting off the battery now here you can see within the software as i was saying you can go between the neutral and the personalized and it demonstrates that with like a little colored graph to show you the sort of areas it's pushing sound into it doesn't really go into depth of explaining it but it certainly shows a difference between those when you're going through a setup process here you can see the immersion that i was talking about you can see it's demonstrating visually the way those drivers are vibrating and the silicones moving on your ears and it's hard to do that justice unfortunately you can't i can't capture it on video because if they're off your ears they are not working and not putting sound out like a normal pair of headphones would be so you don't get that experience visually you just have to take my word for it but it is a very impressive thing and i was really blown away by it and I really like the setup of these and they're very nice all round. They are, however, very expensive headphones that don't really do the job for me. I find them uncomfortable, unfortunately. And the fact that they have Bluetooth and a 3.5mm connection initially made me think, oh, wonderful, this is going to be like the Steel Series Arctic Pro Wireless and other headsets, the Arctic 9 that I tried out recently and other ones where you can have dual connections to get a Bluetooth and wired at the same time so I could play music from my phone and then listen to PC audio at the same time but you can't do that it's either one or the other if you plug that connection in with a 3.5 mil connection the headphones recognize they're in wired mode and it switches off the Bluetooth so you can no longer connect to your phone and vice versa you can't use Bluetooth in the other way so it's a, a mixed bag really a very good quality of audio a nice looking robust headset that delivers good sound but you don't have a splitter cable in the box so you can't use the mic if you have a dual connection on your pc or other device you can't connect to usb c or micro usb and um, the setup is a bit of a faff in that way you can plug in with a usb a connection there's a power cable in the boxes the proprietary to USB-A so I'm using that to plug into my PC but the fact that there's such an expensive pair of headphones and this gaming microphone set up and it's just not perfect for what you'd expect from a gaming headset if you bought a gaming headset you'd expect a easy setup process where you plug in your 3.5 mil connection or USB connection and you're away and if you have the splitter set up there's usually a connection and an adapter in the box there isn't one here Neuro recommends some but they don't supply them you can't even buy them on their website so it's a real downer in that way so unfortunately for me this is a pass however I do think that if you're really into personalized sound and you want a really rich audio experience then these are worth looking at especially if you like in ears. Hope you found this video useful let me know in the comments if you've got any questions thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Crawl. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you, and have a great life.